The key to using multiple materials with a single object is this button here, add a new material slot. That gives us a new material slot and we can create a new material to fill the slot. I'm going to call the new material ring pull. Enter. Now I'm going to rotate the can holding, dragging with the middle mouse button. I'm going to select a face from the central disk and I'm going to press B for B select and drag out and select all the faces from the central disk. Then I'm going to open an image and I've got an image of a ring pull on the top of a can. Now uh, I want to project the faces that I've selected and just a simple UV unwrap gives me the projection that I want. I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel, press A to select all, S to scale, and scale that down a bit. Now, uh, I notice my ring pull slot isn't selected. Make sure that's selected. Uh, I'm going to go to the texture button, add a new texture. I'll call that texture ring pull. And that needs to be an image. We, need, we can pick up the image from here, it's already loaded in, and the mapping we need to set to be UV. We've got one more important thing to do. When you have multiple materials, you must assign the material to the selected faces. So I must click the Assign button, and if I press F12 render, we've got our ring pull at the top of the can. I'm going to add one more material to our coat can, so I'm going to click the plus to create a new material slot, and the plus again to create a new material, and I'm going to call the material Alumin, which is short for Aluminium or al Aluminum. Um, press enter. Now I'm going to go to, in the 3D view, go to bottom. I'm going to select a face, then I'm going to do B for B select and drag out and select all the faces. Uh, I'm going to open an image of some aluminium and I'm going to change the projection. I'm going to go to UV wrap, unwrap, and that just gives a flat projection of the faces. Make sure that slot is selected, go to the material, add a new material, which I'll call Alumin or Alumin again, and make that an image. And the image is already loaded in, so pick that up and change the mapping to UV. And finally, don't forget to go back to the material button and with the slot selected, assign the material to the faces that are selected. I want to change the direction of the grain for the outer faces, so I'm holding down the Alt key and selecting the outer faces. Now, if I press U for the unwrap menu and do cylinder projection, I don't get what uh, the projection I want, so I have to go to view and change the view to front. Now if I press U again and do cylinder projection, you may think nothing's happened, but if I zoom back, there is the cylinder projection. If I press A to select all and G to grab and move that over a nice part of the grain. And make sure the aluminium slot is selected. Now we can assign that UV map to that material to those selected faces. I'm going to do exactly the same for the top of the can. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and select the faces. I'm going to go to front view. I'm going to press U for the unwrap menu and cylinder projection. A to select all, G to grab. I'm going to put that about there and assign that to those faces. 
I'm going to drag over the white hashing in the top corner to close the UV window. I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to zoom back using the mouse wheel, select the lamp, and do Shift and D to duplicate it. And I'm going to drag the duplicate to about there. I'm going to do Shift and D. I'm going to, to make another duplicate. I'm going to surround the coke can with lights. I'm going to go into top view. Uh, G to grab and move that into that corner. G to grab and move that opposite that one. And I'm going to do Shift and D and have one more lamp over in this corner. Clicking the render button and image, we see our model rendered. We can also, in the 3D view, if we display the properties, go to the display panel, scroll down, we can turn shading to GLSL, which uses the OpenGL renderer, and we can have a look at our rendered can in real time. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there, and I'll put the three image files I used there as well. Thanks for watching and goodbye.